It may not be the fanciest gym, but for Selma Castillo, it's where she turned her life around. It's a part of a positive place in the community for people to come to and feel feel like they're a part of something where they can um, feel hope that there's people here that care about you. And it's young people like Selma that Pastor Steve Martinez says will be hurt the most if the Ed Couch Elsa School District forces them to leave. Martinez is the pastor at Church of Acts in Elsa. Last week, he says he got this letter from the school district asking him to move out of the gym. Martinez says for the past three years, the church used the gym at no cost to hand out clothes and food for needy families in the area. He says the gym also provided a safe, drug-free after-school and weekend program for teens. Some of the teenagers that we have here, some of them don't have a mother or a father, some of them even have parents that live with their grandparents and they just want to feel loved and here we just want to be a place for them to where they can feel at home. Interim Superintendent Frank Perez told Action 4 News the district is asking the group to leave because middle school athletes will need that gym for practice during upcoming construction at the middle school. In addition to leaving, Perez also says the group has to pay 50 percent of electricity costs they occurred in the past three years. That adds up to more than $6,000. Perez says the district is simply doing what's best for the students. Martinez believes otherwise. We wonder why our community never prospers because the corruption of our choices that we make for who elect this politics. We need to elect the right people to, that are going to really that have a vision for this community. I got chosen needs a lot of help. Perez says the group has 30 days to move out. If they don't want the blessing here, we'll give it out somewhere else. In Ed Couch Elsa, Daisy Martinez, Action 4 News.